ice cream, cake, brownies, and more. That is all I wanted to eat when I was little, maybe even still today. I used to correlate these foods to deliciousness and happiness, but now all that comes to mind is just unhealthiness or foods that will make my stomach extra big. Arms, legs, mouths, and feet, these are all parts of my body. When I was little, I thought of them as parts that helped me run fast, eat food, and play sports. But now, I seem to be able to find a flaw in each of these parts of myself. Hello, my name is Emily Newhall, and I'm going to be speaking about American beauty standards. How we view our bodies is constantly changing, and it's different for every person. I was lucky enough, and quite frankly, skinny enough, to not have a negative thought about my body cross my mind until I got to middle school. Are you anorexic? I was asked. At first, I was just confused. Then I realized something must be wrong with me. Later, it seemed like everyone wanted what I had, and now I'm told my body is not desirable. Confusing, right? But this is what went through my mind due to the constant reinforcement from other people. Everyone has a perception of their own bodies. Good, bad, confident, insecure, Society is what shapes these views, and they are almost entirely perpetuated through the media. Because we are living in the age of social media, it is extremely difficult not to fall victim to the models and celebrities promoting a certain body type. Now, young women are told to have a small waist, pretty face, and big butt. But wait, you have to look natural too. Who can fulfill these unattainable standards? The images and representation that all of us view from a very young age begin to shape our views on what is ideal or what we should look like. These images can and often do lead to extremely negative effects. Essentially, all young people have various insecurities about their bodies. For some, it is more intense, and for others, it is simply an insecurity here or there. Regardless, insecurities impact us all. They impact how we feel when we look in the mirror, when we put on our clothes, when we take pictures, and simply when we go throughout our day. They make us feel less than. They make us diet, and sometimes they even make us starve or binge. When we do not value our bodies for what they provide us, but instead what they look like, we begin to treat them poorly. I think that most people take their bodies for granted. We will never meet the beauty standards there will always be something that's wrong with us in other people's eyes. However, we should learn to appreciate our bodies for giving us life, and we should value our lives for having the opportunity to make a difference. The only way to feel good about ourselves is to learn how to love ourselves for who we are, not just what we look like. For me, I dealt with many insecurities for a very long time, but I came to the sudden realization that I needed to learn how to love myself, and that is exactly what I did. I thought about what my body allows me to do every day. I thought about my character, my morals, and my values. And I soon realized that there is so much more to life than just what I look like. While I still deal with insecurities like everyone else, I walk out of my house every day confident and ready to make a difference and reach my goals. What we look like is a large part of our identity, but who we are is so much bigger. There is no one definition of beauty. It can come from the inside or the outside. It can be big or small. But the only person who should make that definition is you. So the next time you think about something you don't like about your body, ask yourself why. Why don't you like it? Who makes you feel like you shouldn't like it? Beauty standards are simply a construct enforced by society to put us down, but they have no real power if you do not give it to them. A trait that most people want is confidence. But confidence is not just given to you, you have to go get it. And whether you do or not is completely in your own control. We should all appreciate our bodies more because in hindsight, we are really just organs held together by skin and what we look like is really just science. These unattainable beauty standards should not impact the way we feel about ourselves or how we live our lives. So think about the underlying causes of your insecurities and then get rid of them. There is so much beauty in South Pasadena and it comes in all shapes and sizes. So let us all try to see people for who they are, not just what they look like, and do the same for ourselves as well. Thank you.